There's a pretty cool box elder burrow that we just picked up over off 4th Avenue North, down around 5th Street. Uh, there's definitely some rotten spots in it, as you can see in the end here. Uh, but that's okay. I think we're going to kind of cut this up a little bit with the chainsaw first to see what we're going to end up with. We'll put some of it on the mill, and uh, some of it uh, we'll just chainsaw some blocks out of, like those I think right there. We're going to uh, probably just chainsaw that out because I think most of this end is rotten. So we'll see what this gnarly bump here looks like. Uh, hopefully that's mostly solid, but we're going to know here in just a second. So I'm going to set this down and fire up the old chainsaw and see what we can do here. So here you go. I'll set you over here so you can watch a minute. And I think that's pretty good view. All right, here we go. Plug your ears. Get your safety glasses on. Lot of red. I think Dan and I are going to push this over and uh, then I'll zoom you in and see what we got. This one here, we're going to make a cool little project out of. See how it's hollow inside for sure. Uh, but I'll show you something cool here. We're going to take this right here and this big knot is loose inside. So I'm going to get this out of here, flatten it off, clean this up, and make this a, a, a secret hinge apartment and use it for a, I don't know, something cool anyway. A little side table or something that might be neat. So we'll look for this in the future projects that we do. Now, this cut here was a little more solid. I know there's still some rod in it, but I think there's some solid pieces. So uh, we'll just turn this a little bit. Not too heavy. Yeah, not a lot. I'll bring you in to show you that. Go ahead and break this whole thing down with a chainsaw and start taking some of these burls off in as big a chunks as possible. And hopefully those are mostly solid. I think they are. But here we go. Some pretty cool pieces. Um, there is a lot of rot. I knew there was quite a bit when we cut this down. But what we're going to do, we're going to do something kind of cool here. 
Uh, there's a lot of solid chunks here on the sides of some of these. So we're going to finish off some of these uh, on the bandsaw in the shop and, and make some nice blocks out of these. This other piece right here, we are going to take this and put it up on the sawmill. Check in with you here. Uh, probably going to do that tomorrow. So uh, when I get that done, I'll put all this up on uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook for you. All right, see you, bye. Hello. Uh, today for our online sawmill demo, we're going to be doing this box elder burled piece. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the color in box elder and the burls, uh, but what you're going to notice is that this is a pretty gnarly piece of wood. And ideally, we would be able to cut this into pieces, uh, slabs, etc., that would really give us some nice um, maybe table pieces or counters, bar tops, those kinds of things. Uh, however, um, you see all these gnarled up pieces. These are called burls. And the burls grow almost kind of like a cancerous growth. Uh, the cells are pouring out for a number of different reasons. Um, and, and it causes a tree to kind of grow funky. Um, these make beautiful bowls. Turners love burls. Uh, people who make knife handles, etc. This is kind of a sought after wood, especially if you can find any red color. Box elder is known for occasionally having some red in it. So we're going to cut into this. The problem is uh, that this is kind of a hollow tree. Part of the reason it came down is that all of these things have contributed to, to it not being healthy. So Dan's going to pick this up off of here and we're going to see all the red. He saw the red coming off when the mill was, um, when he was running the mill. But you can see it's a pretty pink color. Um, it's not a real deep red, but definitely some color in that burl. So if you take a look, and he's going to set it down one more time for us um, so we can see the top of this part here. If you look at this shape here, um, we've got a four, four and a half inch bowl shape. And over here too, these are going to be some pieces that turners might really like. Uh, they could turn some pretty neat uh, vessels with those. So we'll pull that off. And then we're going to take a quick look at some of the grain pattern here. Um, this is pretty solid in here. It doesn't look terribly punky. Um, we do have some voids in it, but this is going to be pretty. So we're going to take one more slice off of this um, because this might be a really neat piece to do some sort of a neat uh, art piece or tabletop kind of thing with some of that fill that everybody likes to do. So we'll take a piece off that and then we're going to turn it and we're going to get this big burl here cut. just like that for a second let me show everybody that's a really neat shape isn't it yeah that would be a one that would be really 
fun to fill. Oh yeah. And I'll just pour it out of that little those. hole. So we're gonna try this cutting the cool ring off of here. Cause that will be kind of a new art. piece. Now let's see what it looks like on the other side. Is there some neat color in that too? That's a piece on that side. That's cool. Oh yeah. Oh, pink. Look at that. Dan's going to blow that off so we can see. That's going to be a cool piece. So we're going to do something artsy with that. Hey, Dan, blow this one off, too, and let's see if that color shows up here. Please. Look at that. On. This ring is really cool. Yeah, let's take another cut if it's safe to... Uh, how much do we have over here, Dan? Well, I'm gonna continue with two inch slabs. You're, you're missing about half an inch down on this side. Let's peel a two inch off and see what happens. <coughs> we turned it, and we're gonna cut off a, a bigger piece of the swirl.
peek inside this. And these pieces will cut up later into smaller turning blocks. But we'll see what it looks like. Lift that up so you can see that side of it, Dan. Oh, yeah. The colors in here are going to be really awesome. Oh, and look at all those ants. Yeah, look at those colors. Very nice. Okay, yeah, let's keep slicing that and seeing what we have. Where do you want to go? Two inches, inch and a half? Oh, let's go two and a quarter. I think I should go deeper. Hey, Dan. Dan, let's go three. Three inches? If we go three inches, there's a chance people who are doing um, turning will get better blocks, um, and potentially we can get more um, maybe gun stocks or things like that. We're going to lose some of these stumps down here. There's some pretty serious rot, but there's some nice chunks Beehive. out of that. Look at that. There's a lot of treasures in here. The guy said, the guy that we got this out of his yard said there was a squirrel that kept going into the tree and looking up at his top of, into his house on the second story. <laughs> the squirrel could clearly climb all through this tree. All right, let's...
down here to where we can see kind of where the rot is. And we're going to probably go ahead and turn this and try to get some more turning blanks out of this side right here. Because some of the colors in this these pieces are really beautiful. I know, Josie. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Hi, Josie. Could be wall art right there. Awesome. How do you think that's two together? Try another one. Again, this is really tricky because we're working with a lot of rot and we're trying to just save the cool colored burl pieces. So we're going to cut off a little bit of this and see what happens next. wishing she were outside. There's a lot of logs now. Alright. So we'll peel a few more chunks off of here.
look at that. Gorgeous squirrel color. Ooh, it's really red. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. You got that piece for me, Dan? Yeah. All right. We're getting some really pretty color. Really neat figure. Some bark inclusion in here. But that is really neat wood. Wait. Christmas presents. Ooh, that one doesn't have a lot of color, but it's got some neat figure. Yeah, how about this one? Oh yeah. That one's better. Nice. kind of a bonus. We didn't think we'd necessarily see much for solid once we got down into this a little bit. I'll just give everybody a little
Look at that. So this color right up here, they banned for me. Brush that off a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Um, right up here. Oh. Look at that deep red here. And we cut these a little thicker, so we're going to be able to make some cool turning blanks out of that. With that deep red, that's going to be really beautiful. Came out at four. Perfect. And we're going to have that deep red all along here, too. So those are going to turn into some cool turning pieces. This stuff here, all this rot is going to just kind of fall away as we go. But there's good solid wood here and beautiful color. Thanks for your help today. Bye, everybody.